Fefe hake, o amai oi, how are you? We encounter hundreds of people each day, and yet, like a memorized Bible verse stored in the back of our minds, perfectly rehearsed, we reply, Sai be malo, manuia fafetai, good thank you, without pausing to reflect on how we're actually doing, how we're honestly feeling. By the time we are eight, we are master students and how to keep our feelings to ourselves, top of the class grades and getting over it and moving on. But the program taught should have been emotions are powerful for what we feel heavily influences what we do. Puppets being handled from the inside through strings attached to our emotions. You've heard the saying, hurt people hurt people. While I was a hurt child that grew into a hurt adult, and even in our adulthood, we cannot escape the emotions of pain that we tried to bury deep inside us. My response to the negative words surrounding me was skipping class to shoplift an outfit to wear to the school dance that I would never dance at, diaries full of goals and expectations that were out of my reach, thick layers of foundation to conceal the scars inside and out, muffled screams for help into my tear-drenched pillow, packing anger, sadness and hopelessness into my bags before running away again. My wrists began to look like tally charts as if I was keeping count, and in turn, I would hurt others whether I was aware of it or not. I was handing out pamphlets containing free information into the whirlwind of emotions that I was trying to survive. We were told that sticks and stones may break our bones but words will never hurt us. We were never told what to do when words do hurt us because words do hurt us like a stone chip to a car windscreen that often starts off small but if ignored for too long we may either burst into a pattern of tiny cracks or later leading us to completely shatter. And that's the damage of words long after the first chip has been made. If only I understood my pain, then I'd be able to express it in a safe and healthy way. Our tamaiki, our whanau, our to'otupu need to be seen and heard. Our pepe, our whanau, our tupulanga need to feel accepted and valued. Our babies, our children, our young people need to know they matter.